match between Amanda Stanonis and Tomas Dorme is also going to take place. And uh, this amazing clash uh, should uh, happen as much as I've seen next weekend. Amanda Stanonis uh, riding a score of 12 0 Lithuanian boxer, 9 knockouts, 5 foot 8, 68. Inches is his reach. Bird plays Kaunas, but he is fighting a boxing at California. Great knockout artist. I watch him against Janair Gonzalez, Justin Deloach, who is Cesar Sanchez. The guy is the real finisher. A real finisher. Very aggressive pressure fighter who keeps who keeps attacking all over the place, who keeps swarming the opponent with violent strikes until he finishes uh, until he finishes the bout via very, very great punch combos, he's so fast and it's almost impossible. It's almost impossible not to retreat against Amanda Stanionis, I mean, he is always uh, attacking. You must fight on back foot against him. Simply have no choice. Thomas Dorme, 25-4-1 and uh, 5 foot 10, 7, uh, 73 inches is his reach. Gonna be a problem for Stanionis because he's gonna have reached this advantage, but he'll have to be aggressive to duck under to go with hooks and on the other side, Thomas Dorme, not a bad boxer at all. I know he lost to Jamal James via anonymous decision and your Dennis Sugas via decision. The only guy who knocked him out was Terence Crawford, but listen to Terence Crawford, it's not a big deal. Terence Crawford is a big name. Also, Dorme fought to a draw against Jesse Vargas and outworked Terrell Williams. I think it's not going to be an easy fight for Amanda Stanionis. Pretty much sure it's going to be a hard night for Amanda Stanionis, but as the fight progresses into the later rounds, the cardio machine Stanionis should take the advantage, should take the lead. I think this is, uh, well, it's hard to say whether Dolorme is going to go down or not, because uh, it's very hard to knock him out, it's very hard to stop him, but I think Amanda Stanionis is going to outwork him, so my pick for this fight is going to be Amanda Stanionis.